Okay, sixth grade, it's Miss Johnson here, and I am conducting an experiment today. It is what I call the plate tectonics egg lab. Um, we're gonna be looking at the different types of plate boundaries that make up um, our Earth's lithosphere. So, um, when we talk about plate boundaries, we know that there are three main types. We have convergent, divergent, and transform. And out of those three, they all do a different type of motion. And this egg lab is actually gonna help demonstrate what that looks like. So essentially what we're looking at is we have a hard boiled egg. Um, and if you'd like to do this lab at home, you're more than welcome to, it's pretty easy. Um, but like I said, I have boiled these eggs. They are solid on the inside. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is we're going to slowly crack the eggshell. So this egg is gonna represent planet Earth and the shell is gonna represent the Earth's crust. Um, unfortunately, one of my eggs did not make it out of the fridge um, and it fell on the floor. So. <laughs> I'm glad I made an extra. So you might wanna do this. If you want to do this lab, you might wanna make an extra egg. I know a lot of you are gonna be boiling eggs for Easter. Um, so, or have some eggs from Easter. You could probably do this as well. So, um, yeah, definitely recommend boiling an extra egg or two. So we have our egg. It is ready to go. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to kind of tap this egg on the table gently in random spots. And what this is doing, it is kind of hard to see, but you can start to see the cracks forming, right? And we know that planet Earth is made up of um, various plates. And these plates move and slide past each other. And um, depending how they move and slide past, depends on what type of plate they are. So um, you're gonna just gently kind of crack the egg, not to the point where it breaks open, but you can see definitely we have some cracks forming here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paintbrush and I have some colored food coloring. I had gel food coloring, I just watered it down a little bit, um, and a paintbrush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint some of these main lines, um, not all of them, but you can kind of see it highlights the cracks within the egg. So I'm gonna continue and just kind of follow all those main cracks around the egg. have any on the poles okay so now we have our boundaries let me do one more little spot here okay so What I'd like you to do at this point, let's just say that this is our front side. In your lab, you're going to actually sketch out what the egg looks like. So go ahead and do that. So in your Go Formative, you have a box where you're going to be drawing out the egg. So let me have you go ahead and sketch it. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that so that you can sketch your egg.
Okay, so I'm gonna flip the egg around and this is going to be your backside or rear. Go ahead and pause so that you can sketch. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at what happens when I put pressure on different sides of the egg. So we're gonna start with the actual sides um, and we're gonna press gently and I'm gonna hold the egg so it's a little bit easier and you can see it up close. So if I were to squeeze this egg, you'll notice that we have plate motion occurring. So I'm gonna do it with one hand just so that you can kind of see what's going on. So here, you can see the two plates are coming together. This is what we know as a convergent boundary. So they're pushing directly into one another. But not only is that happening, we have one over here where they are diverging or pulling apart. So you can see the separation that's occurring between the two plates, okay? Um, and then within this area, we have transform boundaries where they are shearing or sliding past one another. So I'm gonna continue to kind of move the egg so that you can see as I squish it what happens. So let's try this. Okay, so here, yet again, we have the convergent, they're coming together. If I let go, let some of the pressure ease off, goes back down to normal as I slowly press again. Here's divergent, it's splitting. And you can see it go back down. So splitting part, divergent, coming together, convergent. And you can see here almost that it, this layer here is subducting underneath this shell. So that's actually giving you an idea of what it means to subduct or go down, a subduction zone. So this is saying that this plate here is less dense than this other plate. So that's why it's getting pushed down into the earth again. And like I said, transform is just when they slide past one another, they're shearing. Um, and when they're shearing, that tension is when they go in opposite directions. So one sliding up, one sliding down. Okay? Let's see what it looks like up here. You can see So the reason why we use the food coloring is so that it helps, you know, stand out a little bit better. You can see it visually a little bit better. Okay. Um, so what I'd like you to do now is you're going to go in and answer those questions that go with the rest of the Go Formative. So I hope this gives you a good idea as to the three main types of plate boundaries. Like I said, it's a really easy visual, so um, it's definitely something you could do at home if you wanted to, and um, it helps you kind of get an idea as to how those plates move in um, real life. So remember, these plates are moving constantly, um, and they do move about the rate of like your nails, your fingernails. So um, that gives you a good indicator as to how quickly this happens. So me pushing on an egg is a lot faster than the reality of the situation, okay? So go ahead and let's finish up the lab and I can't wait to see your responses. All right guys, see you later.